performance-wise, the start of the season, even we had uh, had this ball rolling. You know, we're very proud to be part of the, all the Chevy hard work that we've been doing uh, with the team. And uh, since the spirit, we're, we've been a pretty strong team. Alabama didn't go great, but here we are. Been very strong since the first uh, practice session, even if it was a little bit down. Qualified went great. Pretty much everything that we planned happened. Unfortunately, maybe it was more in my side. I had another a little bit of time that could put me closer to the front, if not in ball. And then last corner just left it out there. But here we are. It's a very long race. Fortunately, we're gonna be we're not going to be starting in the position I qualify. We need to change the engines, me and the, all the Chevy guys. But how, this is how it is. It, this is a teamwork. And Looking forward to this race very much. Thanks. Uh, Daria, obviously an interesting situation for you qualifying. Um, fourth, but you'll start from the uh, front row tomorrow. Uh, just what goes through qualifying today? Yeah, it's been a little better than this is the qualifying the same Pete and Barbara, especially Barbara. Um, <laughs> that was just really straightforward, actually. Um, you know, the, the target car felt pretty good for both, both sessions and made some adjustments between. Um, First session and second. Um, going into the, the, the Firestone Class 6, we knew that we were going to be starting with the bowl, um, regardless of what time we did, but we kind of wanted to earn it. Um, but we didn't quite, uh, you know, we didn't quite uh, have it in the car, so we'll, we'll go back to tomorrow um, and we'll go we'll see what happens from there. Okay, thanks. Uh, James, obviously, you've had a quite nice bounce back from this morning where you had a little incident. Uh, advance your third fire step back. Can you just talk about qualifying? Yeah, thanks for reminding me of those morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Amy. Uh, like you said, nice, nice bounce back. We had an issue on the flat two, uh, brand new tire wear. So it was, uh, didn't get a whole lot of useful running out of the practice and wasn't qualifying. Not quite sure what to expect. It's okay, nobody did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, the scoring didn't really seem like you could really get a rhythm going in practice because there were so many people that were going to, you know, put it in the fence and all that. So how uncertain was that? Well, yeah, you. How uncertain was that, though, going into the qualifying sessions, what you really had for the conditions of the, of the day? It was a massive, I would say, that we had both sessions break right down yesterday. Um, you know, we didn't do more than two consecutive laps this morning. One was just an out lap. You had two of them? I did. But, but one was an out, one was out oh, yeah. and the next one. So, so uh, it was a few months there. So, uh, yeah, I, think, I think our guys, obviously, they did a good job of coming up with the setup, and uh, yeah, it, was, it worked well. Because this new car is obviously vastly different than the, than the old one. Any other one? It was really tough. But you couldn't get too greedy with the car uh, for qualifying. You didn't really know how aggressive you can get with the setup. So I think everybody played it a little bit safe that first round. Um, but yeah, what a strange weekend so far. And it's going to get even stranger tomorrow. <laughs> for any of the Chevy guys, did you guys change any of your movies? engines? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chevy guys, I heard you guys change your engines. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you think of what's better if starting in the top six uh, or, or using wasting as a bad mix instead of tires to take you farther in a qualifying or keeping them for, for the race. Uh, I was going to go to the Q2 with a full set of tires, but we decided that track position is always good to find, so we went for the second set. So, yeah, I think each race has its strategy, and obviously, due to the circumstances, and uh, that's what we went for. I think track position is just so big here that we all decided to push for it. The, the kind of wild card is going to be well, good. Well, you should mention, especially now that the pits are always open. Right. And so uh, Marco was the guy that sort of rolled the dice there and all by the black. So <coughs> starting a bit further back, well, I mean, probably try to next to last, but it's, uh, it, he's got a bunch of tires on to play with tomorrow. So it, it'll be interesting to see how that one sort of works out for him. Yeah, we didn't have a NASA computer in the media center, but we, we've kind of figured out that Joseph Newgarden will start alongside you, Mario. So any concerns about having a rookie start uh, on a track like this? No. No, Joseph's, <laughs> I think, looks through his career has proven how good a driver he is. He's done it again. Every time he's been in the car this year, he'll be fine. He's getting better than the annoying that he is. Believe me. We have proven time and time again, whether you're a rookie or a veteran, he can screw it up just as well. We <laughs> 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 might get it to get through turn one tomorrow on the head of the back. Where did he qualify? He was seventh. That was the second. A.K.A. P2. A question, uh, maybe Dario, being most experienced here, I think, at this track. How much did the track change during the entire qualifying session, uh, as far as rubber coming in, grip coming in, and did the wind or, or whether it's that track at all? It normally changes a lot anyway with, with all the, the rubber going down because of the fire store reds, but I think it probably changed more than in years past because there was the green track this morning, there wasn't no rubber. So I think the, the, you know, as the session went on, it, but the different sessions went on, yes, it definitely changed more than I've, I've maybe seen here. I have to uh, keep you to Jason just close to us. I think he just went at 4 o'clock. Uh, that goes live, so he needs to run out of here. So, uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, well, So 
when we unload, we've got fast cars. It shows the preparation that happens back home. And um, you know, so proud of Team Penske, proud of uh, Hitachi. We've got a lot of guests here this uh, weekend as well. They're a great partner this year for us. So um, I want to thank everyone there. Great. We'll continue with questions, Bruce. Ryan, I don't know any other way to ask this, but how much does this really bite that you win the full air and you start a lot of it? Yeah, it bites. Yeah. Um, you know, but uh, we've just got to go with it, you know. You've got to trust um, Chevrolet's judgment in uh, in this decision. And, um, you know, the important thing is we know we've got fast cars. Um, it is a tough track to pass on, but, uh, you know, the first step is having a fast car. and. Um, and the other fact, you know, the decision is made to, to make sure that we have reliable engines. So, um, you know, I 100% I I support them in it, and um, I guess we're doing the best of the situation. We just got to see what we can uh, make of it tomorrow on the race. We've also been joined now by Will Power of Team Penske, who uh, qualified second. Will um, has started in the full year past three events at Long Beach. <laughs> well, if you can walk us through a uh, qualifying for you today. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good battle in the past six for sure. Um, that was everything I had. So Ryan laid down a mega lap. Um, but yeah, obviously, it's, you know, qualifying was important because we didn't want to end up like 15, 16th. I think, you know, 12 you. Makes it around. <laughs> 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 makes it around. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure everyone said it. We've got to make the best out of the situation and uh, see where we can end up. But, you know, it's days like tomorrow that will be really important for the championship. And, you know, just to get as many points as possible, not end up, you know, not finishing. So we just got to focus hard on strategy and get the most out of those. Uh, this is for Brian, um, both Ryans actually, I think, um, you know, there have been some interesting views from in-car camera angles, and one is over the steering wheel, it looks like the drivers are really sawing a lot, um, like going over a lot of bumps and doing a lot of corrections, and then there's another view from the rear tire, which seems like it's pretty much, I think it's uh, Ryan Hunter Ray's rear tire that is on the right rear, and that right, that tire keeps bumping up in the air a lot. So I'm just wondering if the track is rough as it looks. Don't use too many curves. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my secret story. No, it's, um, <laughs> it is, it, this place is really bumpy, and this car has got a lot more, it feels like it's got a lot more kickback through the steering wheel than the old car. So it's, um, it's really heavy, the steering and, and the kickback and everything else. So every bump, you really feel through your hands a lot more, so that's why you're seeing that. But, but this track is inherently bumpy, so you're going to see a lot of action on the right rear and left rear. Um, but that's why you're seeing that with the steering. You'll see that a lot tomorrow, too. It's just uh, it's, it's the nature of the beast. Yeah, I think it's cool that, you know, I think we're carrying four in-car cameras on, on our cars each this weekend. So it gives everyone a pretty good view of uh, all the little different dynamics that are going on. One of the things you see is how physical it is, and you see that through the wheel. You know, every bump you sort of feel that through the steering wheel, and um, you need to be fit, you need to be strong, and uh, it's part of any car racing. Well, uh, Ryan, uh, with, with so many of the fast cars, you know, starting from like 11th position on, can you kind of take a guess as to what kind of a race we're going to see tomorrow? Well, I mean, we'll have to look at um, if it's going to be two stop or three stop. There's a pretty good chance it'll be a two stop race. So. Um, you know, that might uh, affect how aggressive people run or, or how, um, you know, how much people might want to save fuel at times. So I think it'll depend a lot on when the caution fall. Um, th there are a lot of things that, that could happen tomorrow, you know, hits remaining open. Um, you know, th there are a lot of unknowns, but uh, I think the important thing is you're going to want a fast car. I think as tyres go off, um, you can pass around this place. And, uh, it's tough though, it's tough. You just need to be consistent and uh, have good pit stops. And um, I think as Will said, you know, from where we are, we just need to do our best and, and come out of this weekend with good points. This is for any of the drivers. Uh, as I was photographing right near the Firestone Bridge, just before you come into it, you make that hard right, just before the hairpin. Uh, I noticed
first, about halfway through the morning session, cars were getting really squirrely in there. Is that due to bumps, or was there something on the track? Because everybody coming through there about the second half of the session seemed to get really squirrely. Yeah, this is the second uh, fastest straight of the track, and we get there pretty fast in six gear. And uh, yeah, it's pretty bumpy as well, so the car is just pretty much in the limit. Yeah, there's, in that corner specifically is where I lost uh, my great lap coming and qualifying. It's a, it's a very challenging one. You come from a very fast uh, straight and then it's a very hard breaking one. You pretty much lose a lot of vision because he, he's very bumpy. And as, it, uh, as you're going through the bumps, obviously the car is, is getting upset. So yeah, that's uh, every time I'm sure that uh, in the later part of qualifying, I'm sure you will see the cars even more, more in the limit. Yeah, everybody pushing very hard. Great. For any of you Chevy guys, uh, <laughs> we'll pay attention. We've got to be the last. For a very difficult task, most drivers say turn of one side are only really good passing point. Mm -hmm. uh, and with so many good guys in there, are we going to see a lot of places where you guys are going to attempt the pass that we've never really seen? I don't know, I think you see a lot of crashing if that's the case. <laughs> you know, it is tough to pass. I mean, um, you know, one good thing about these cars is you, you probably, you know, you can drive out here. What's that? <laughs> Please go <laughs> 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 on. Elio, that might be needed to be actually. That might be a lot of that, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I think it's, you know, there's, there's some really good blockers out there. And, and we're going to have to be, you know, 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 to <laughs> I don't know, I think it's just a nice big big corner, it's just too much up to the long straight. If you, if you go back in, into the back straight, that, that, that corner before that is pretty bumpy, so sometimes you mess it up, and I think it takes the driver in front of the mistake, you have like a chance of going for it. Well, we'll go ahead and wrap things up with our final fantastic drivers. Congratulations on a great qualifying effort, best of luck.